So they have uh, an objective and it's to do this generator and part of the generator is a skill check where like you need to hit it at the right spot but what they see is all red so they can't see where they need to hit it. It's a bug. They should just leave and come back and that's what I typed out to them. Like this is the way it's supposed to look and you're getting a bug, it's all red. It's not normal. Remember this is a closed beta. The process is to find these issues and fix them. The moment I hopped into a game on the Outlast Trials, I didn't know what I was expecting. And at first glance, it seemed like I was going through hell and coming back into a simulation. But nope, I was getting put into hell itself. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys are all doing great. Today, guys, I wanted to give you guys my honest opinions on the Outlast Trials how it went now i know this video is quite late when it comes to the outlast trials beta and it was a closed one it occurred on october 28th to i think it was september 1st which was on the tuesday that ended the next week and here are my genuine opinions and i'm just gonna go in no complete order i'm just gonna talk about what i loved what i hated and what I think they should improve on. Now, this video is quite late. I know things are going to be changed in the final release of the game, or maybe another beta is going to occur. Now, there still is no word if the game is coming to console, and that is kind of left up in the air. Now, at first glance, when I first hopped into the game, the connection, man, the connection was just horrible. I don't think it was stabilized right, but I was having so many issues trying to get into other friends' games. I was trying to play with my friends, but unfortunately, I couldn't. Did you know there is going to be a hub in the game? The hub is going to be where you and your other mates that are in this jail-like trial simulation for Murkoff's tests. And, well, your objective is to essentially be their guinea pigs for these trials and get through them and test the human capabilities that is basically what the game is about now if you've played previous outlast games then you are no stranger to how the for the formula works i'm sorry and well i love the new systems man i really really do dig it and this is going to be hopping into the positives i love the new systems man i think they have expanded well into a bunch of new ground and territory that just kind of makes the game feel or the i'm sorry the formula feel fresh you'd no longer have the camera which i know is not a big thing for a lot of people especially with the time period the game is set in um and this time around you have a camera well it's not a camera it's some night goggles to be exact and you have to find batteries for it and now, there are power-ups, which I think are a little confusing, but I guess they do give a game advantage to the players, which I didn't really dive right into, and that's on my fault. I should have really taken the time to actually grasp what was there and kind of get to know what was there. Now, when it came to the level design in the Outlast Trials, is it linear? Yes. So, one thing's for sure you're going to be running in a straight line to get to the next objective and you're going to be with your teammates and one teammate is probably going to be distracting the main boss or the enemy in general and there are a bunch of boogie traps around or i'm sorry not boogie booby traps around these levels and just let me start off by saying this whoever made the outlast trials game design or i'm sorry level design needs to be accommodated man because it's absolutely freaky and it sets the tone for the game so well no joke i loved the game in every sense i could i tried to take in and look around and enjoy what i was getting into and one of those things was just looking at everything i mean you had to break through windows to get to the other side sometimes i had to hide under a desk but then sometimes there would be these eerie like things looking at me and kind of just the game is creepy man the game is just well designed and it's super scary i would say this game is maybe a little less scary than the first game but that is just for the first trial because that's all there was 
from what I've seen, there was about four or five trials, and I hope that's not how it's going to be at launch. I'm hoping. Next, the graphics, I think, are just amazing. They look and suit the time period for the game, and it also gives me that Outlast feeling. Now, there are some issues that I did run into. I had a lot of frame rate issues, and I had a lot of stuttering, but that was obviously due to it being a closed beta now for the closed beta all you had to do is apply for it by going i think it was you apply through steam and they would send you a code maybe within the next day or two or within that day itself i got mine within an hour of it and i tried hopping into my game with my friends and i couldn't man i just couldn't it was so bad it was so laggy and it was just horrible and when it comes to the negatives, I don't have too much. I don't have that much negatives to say. And that would just have to be the stuttering and the frame rate issues. Maybe there's more to say on that. And maybe I haven't gotten my full thoughts down. But that's all I really had to say, man. The hub, I mean, it's just a hub. I mean, you, if you've played any previous RPG games online, then you kind of know what it is like. But yeah, guys, that's going to have to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy it. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't be afraid to leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.